that guy for me, Steve, on the uh, River Wandle. I couldn't do any magnet fishing today because uh, I had to go to the job centre and uh, screwed up my time period for today. So today I'm just doing a bit of farm tree litter collecting. So really this is going to be kind of a little bit of a nature walk. And I'll give you a little glimpse of the river time to time. Just spoke to um, one of the people who runs this part of this section, Leslie, female, and uh, she said if I need to, if I want to sign up and you know do voluntary stuff, then uh, to give her a, a shout, get her contact details off the board, which I will do. I'm not going to stand there picking up all those tobacco papers. So this is, you know, my stick I paid for myself. Bought out two bin liners. Um, I thought she was having a go at me actually. Something funny kind of happened just now actually. Some guy was walking his dog and he interrupted our conversation thinking that we were talking about him. And uh, he was having a go. And I said, no mate, listen, she was talking about the rubbish here. We weren't even talking anything about you. He goes, oh, she's not got a fucking scary cow. You want to start something, I'll start. And I said, look mate, we're not even talking about you. As she said, you come in on the conversation, which had nothing to do with you. We're talking about the rubbish. Not that you can't put your dog's muck in. We're talking about rubbish in general. You know, he started like walking towards me and then like he backed off. People like that make me sick because they don't know what the fuck we're talking about. They interrupt a conversation and they think they're a big man because they've got a fucking dog. Well, what was he going to do? Set the dog on me. Yeah, I'll have him fucking arrested. Now what I'm doing is a little bit of voluntary clearing up, which I don't have to do, but I'm doing it. Get to know a few people around here, because like once you start signing up as a voluntary person. You get to know some of the good places. That's what some of you magnet fishing guys need to do. Sign up. Come a volunteer for a little while. Volunteer a little bit of your time with the National Trust or with the uh, the river team and then you might get to know people <whistles> could go that way but I'm not going this way Um, I'll be honest with you, it's appalling and sickening to see how much junk people leave laying around. They can't even put it in a bin. And once you clear it up, what happens? Someone else comes along and does the same old shit. Throws their crap in the bin, uh, on the floor. Oh look, the cats are only been around to pick all this shit out. They need to come and empty the bins like once a day at least. Not once a fucking week or a month. See the thing is bottles take too much space and weighs the bag down. And I don't want to be putting bottles 
in this bag. I put cans in. It's the bottles I'm not going to do. Bottle just sways the bag down too much. You never know, you might find some treasures. <coughs> Got much? No round, seen them about. Put these bottles in this bag. Split. where the bins are. Fucking poxy stupid bags.
Yeah, I'm going to go over to the park and I'm going to go in now and ask to sign up. And I say, look, I emailed Chris and I've not had no reply from him for a week. bag no one used it I should pour a fucking bin right here. Look at me. No. They put a park bench here, yeah, but not a fucking bin. No bench, no bin. It's a fucking joke. Wait. Look more bin tins, bottles and shit. Bag stink of beer. Ouch. That fucking hurt.
Look at the flies all over there. Got Ben and got no fucking right putting leaves and shit in here. So much dog shit in that thing there. I've got one more bin bag and that's it. Right guys, I'll uh, end this video for now, and uh, I'll turn it back on in a little bit when I get to Merton Hall Park. Just do my brush first. So yeah, I'll get back to you in a little while. See you soon. Well, looks like my trash hasn't been moved yet. Typical. Um, while I'm here, oh, spider with my face. I'm going to. I don't know how it's going to be able to fit in my bag. That's something I pulled out the other day. And if it goes in my bag, we're at so much problem. That is one of the finds I found the other day. There's a hammer there for my gun type yammer.
still stuff in there. Don't know why they're still. That might be one of those bottle things, gas the bottles. Yeah, someone's been down here because there's a can down there. They went there the other day. Pain in the ass. No, you try cleaning that a bit. And what happens? People come and sh throw shit in there again. The stuff you can't get out and a million. That's sick. Right, anyway, there's someone over here. Um, I'm going to try to walk past. Yeah, I can. There ain't really much down here to pull out, and it always, I don't think. There might be, I don't know, because uh, that looks like possibly uh, a mooring dock for boats. There possibly might be some metal here, which I'll try later in the week. thing is, going through here is going to be a bit crappy fried because because um, it's overgrown in some places and I'll probably go and end up getting stunned so I'm going to turn this off again for a while guys no, in fact, we'll in a little bit. Right, I'm back on the main path. I'll give you a little bit of a tour around of the park. Not really brilliant. It's just like open ground, you know, like common in one way. But this is supposed to be owned privately by the National Trust. It's hot, hot my skin smelling. <coughs> so this is the lake, one of the lake parts. You have to have a license, fishing license and a permit to fish this lake and one other lake. And that's £25 a year. And only when fishing season is on. When it's off, you might have had fish. So I've got a long walk around to get to a building over there. To keep an eye out for trash, because people who were here would have dropped coins and the thing is you're not allowed to metal detect in here so any kind of like little bit of sort of garbage might be worth checking out I 
might be able to get over this little bit. As long as I don't sleep. Oh, good, so I can be walking all the way around now. So I need to get over there. I hope to clean some of this out the other day. So I got kicked off. <laughs> Now I think this is the building, so I'm going to have to turn the camera on. I'm sure I'll get back here. So I'll catch you in a little bit. Right guys. Ah. Shit, I just pulled all drinks down my neck. What an idiot. I'm going to st be sticky. And stink of... What's the name drink now? Got all energy sticky drink down me. What a dumbo. Gonna be attacked by bees and wasps and flies and mosquitoes. So, anyway, I've just been into the uh, National Trust property room. Spoke to the guy in there, Richard. Um, Tony asked been waiting for a, a reply back from someone and he hasn't replied back and um, I said uh, you know like I've been waiting a week and that's happened apparently the guy who I emailed been on vacation yeah vacation so uh, gave them my details and hopefully they're going to try to sign me up in the next day or two uh, to the National Trust and uh, if there's anything I'm interested in doing on any of their projects what I've got to do is uh, say that I want to go then I can go um, and the reason I want to do this guys because like I'm pretty sure in time I'm going to find few little secret places where I could probably go and do some magnet fishing and if I can get like you know my ID and uh, some like you know like a t-shirt with National Trust or Wandle Trust or whatever printed on it no one's gonna fuck with me just gonna say okay national trust fair enough catch you later bye unless it's someone like from one of the head departments that's a bit kind of like um well i don't know it's naughty but hey you know you don't try you never know what you can get away with it's not that I don't don't want to like you know break any rules and regulations, but it'd be cool you know if I can get out and do a few more little locations, magnet fishing, without being stopped. So and look at the river, see if there's any kind of like nice bit of pottery or something I can grab. It's a lot of brickwork. And I don't know me well it means. I'm hoping uh, tomorrow the river's going to be better. There's a sink over there but I can't get out. I think it's a brick actually. Don't know what that thing is in that dip the sink right over there in the dip 
want to get a better view. I don't know what it is. Looks unusual, whatever it is. Something's moving right next to it as well. So you've got a lot of brickwork here from old property that may have been around this area. Bit of clay pottery. Still got my can in my hand, not throwing it away. I said, What the fuck is that? It's like a bloody bomb or something there, but it's not, it's a um, trunk. It's like a rocket. Or shell. Right, like fucking tire there. Is that a brick? Or oh, is that a bit of pottery? I'll have to lock this up because the uh, thing that I've got in my bag get opening my whole backpack up in there for now. Can't see really, really see much uh, pottery in here. A few bits over there. But I'm not going to go in the water just to get a little bit of pottery. 
No way. I think I lost my uh, bin bag. I don't see in my uh, what's the name? In my bag. So I can't pick up any more trash. Over here, nothing here. Is that their gold? I see something silver over there, but it might be aluminium. There'd be gold in the river. See trash here. I'm not picking it up. Done my bit for the day. Is that an empty bag? Shot of something. No, it's a bag. Full bottle of orange juice. Can't pick that bottle. Big bottle like that. Look at that. Right, so I'm doing. I'm going home now, but I will walk through the other part of the Wandle to let you see the river once again. I think they use this for trash. Actually, I'll take the bottle out. Yeah, there's a bit of pottery. I don't know how old it is. Actually no, that's the part of a tile. Roof and tile. Bit of slate I think. Yeah, 
is a brick. That's that's straight. I wonder if there's any old bottles in here. Could be a load of old bottles in here, for all I know. Right. I need to somehow open this up again. Which I will do in a second. So this used to be a pathway, roadway, to cross your building what might have been over here. Now I won't be surprised if it's like an old bottle dump somewhere around here. Or some kind of like refuge. But no we who see am I gonna start digging through it. Put it through the thread. I'll put my keys in there. So I could just walk up the road and round the corner and get a bus. But I'm not going to. I'm going to go through the uh, other part of the Wondle where I've done the trash. Walk down there. So I need to get, um, what's the name, phone number. Leslie's phone number. Close it up a little bit. I'll get back to you soon. Right, okay. Ravensbury Park. Part of the Wandle. Now the other day there was a few guys on the Ra Ravensbury Lake giving it a clean up. And although it looks really shallow. It isn't. It is like four feet of thick, mushy silt. So if anyone tried to even go in there, especially a kid, thinking it's like that shallow, it's not. It is very, very deep. Could definitely suck a kid under. see so many people around on the Monday afternoon. Mind you. Feel the finish working I suppose now. Mm. 
nice looking beef. See, these are the parts where people can actually fish if they've got license and a permit. Looks shallow, but looks can be deceiving. I mean, very deceiving. And at least my t shirt's dried off. Not being attacked by any bees and wasps from spilling that drink down me. That's what I get for trying to put my head cam on with a drink in my hand. That guy's been a good few hours fishing. Oh, shit, me help. My shoulder phone up again. So this is the River Wandle. I've not really done a lot of magnet fishing down this part. It doesn't look as if there's going to be much down here, but as I say, like, looks can be deceiving. I did do a little bit off this bridge the other day. Got 7p off it. But that's about it. Do not feed bread to the wild life. Oh my god! What are you doing down here? I can see that. What? Right, oh yeah, whoa. Seven carp, two rod, and a job of scratching silver all in one afternoon. What, here? No, not here, sir. It's at the nursery. And it's all, of, all of the buggers was fucking lined up, mate. There's plenty of fish in here, not big though. Yeah. Had some bites, nothing to take the hook all the way down. That, what, where's my fly gone, huh? Guy got a barbell out here the other day. Did ya? Not me, some guy, Polish guy, bad happy. Oh, oh, oh shit. I'm excused that, yeah. So what are you going over to Seven Islands, you say? Oh, I am, yeah. Uh, Smithy and Tony's meant to be over there a bit later, and Venus. I'm going to probably stop by the cannon to see Venus. Oh, so what, are you walking or? Walking, yeah. I'm going to take a stroll. Just, just to kill half an hour or so. And hopefully get a fish. And I've seen a lot of fish in here, but I reckon it's a bit warm and I don't appear to be biting. No, it has been a bit quiet. I've had a few bites, I actually saw the fish go for the uh, the maggots. Yeah. Where are you being? Just so, trying to sign up for the National Trust. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. No, I just look, I look, 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 fish, fish, yeah. fish. Yeah. Down here. Oh, there's baby ones. Yeah, no, you will. Afternoon. Never know, you might get one, might be fucking like. Fucking tiny little buddies, look at this. Yeah, I know. I've been here all afternoon. Well, I, I came past you about an hour and a half ago, you weren't here. Well, that's what I mean by all afternoon, all the afternoon. <laughs> you got new fishing yourself? No. Nah. Well, just to turn a little bit of uh... Magnet fishing. You know magnet fishing? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the game when you're a kid. No. Magnet fishing, throwing a magnet in, pulling all the fucking scrap iron out. Oh, right. Okay, so you're doing uh, clean up on a river. Yeah. Pulled out a little dinager on the other side of the road, near the bridge. Nah, can't magnetise a dead body unless it's been eating iron, too much iron in its fibre. Oh, fuck. What are you going to drop? I'm going to Clapham Common uh, tomorrow with my waders right. and doing the boating lake. I've, I've pulled out a lot of stuff over there. Oh, yeah. Iron, shit, you know, a couple of... Um, Fishing um, tools, you know, the old disgorgers. Pull the, know uh, no, the rods where you've got your bite alarms on. Yeah. I pulled one of the rods out with fucking three bite alarms on it the other day. <laughs> then I went back and I pulled out another fucking bite alarm. You're doing all right then? I, I, well, I don't know they work, I just left them outside, let them dry off. Yeah, let them dry. Yeah, so what I'm 
basically doing is just trotting down a river. Do you know any shortcuts over to uh, Seven Island then? Uh, what I do from here, Seven Islands, is I go down past the uh, the Nisa, round the back near the cop shop next to the best one, and then uh, past uh, basically cuts the corner off. Rather than walking all the way down into Mitcham and walking back, I just walk uh, around where the tram stop is. Well, we've, when you're ready, I'll come with you because I, 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 I might pop over for a while. Got nothing better to do. Don't rush though. Probably might have to stop off at the shop there's on the way, get some drinks. Yeah. I just went over National Trust because um, I, I was doing a bit of uh, magnet fishing over there and I fucking got stopped by one of the National Trust guys. Yeah. So I you know you can't really do it in the river, mate. Like, you know, river's like deceiving. You could be walking one minute on shallow and the next minute 10 feet under from a sinkhole or something, you know. Yeah. He goes, uh, I appreciate what you're doing, but I'm going to have to ask you to stop. You know, if you want to volunteer, do it the pop way. And then that way, you're, you know, um, you're covered in, on our insurance kind of thing for any injuries. So I said, well, yeah, okay, who do I need to talk to? He goes, me. So I got his uh, email, oh, yeah. emailed him a week ago. Not had no fucking reply off him. So I had to sign on today, so I thought, well, I'll come over here and do a bit of, like, litter cleaning. Yeah. So I got my little pickup stick thing in my bag. Yeah. Went over, done, done along this river. Then I went over to National Trust and spoke to one of the guys over there. Yeah. And he goes, uh, yeah, he's on vacation. So if you give me your name and address and email, I'll uh, get you signed up. Yeah, well, Graham used to work at National Trust over there. Yeah. See, so I'm, I'm doing it for certain reasons, you know, because like when you're on National Trust, yeah. and I'm, I've also signed up to the River Wandle, there might be little parts where the Wandle will let no one know about, it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, you being whatever, you got to suppose the right for the fishing rights, haven't you? Well, no, I still got to have a fishing license oh, yeah, and a permit, license, but, but you know, you know I could just say like, you know, I found a real cool spot, you know, say to mates, look, you know, um, go and try this little location. The reason I'm suspicious here is I saw Hilaire take a 10, sorry, 12 pound carp out of it. Did you know, when you cross the road outside here, yeah. um, if you walk straight down, yeah. there's a, a little walkway, yeah. and if you follow that walkway, fucking more wonder all there. There is, yeah. I didn't know that. I what? pulled, because I went there, and I thought, oh, I get, took my magnet with me, I pulled out a fucking fire crate. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go, something's taken. Yes! No. Yep, no. Shit. I felt couldn't even fucking see you float. Yeah, I felt it. I felt it, but it was on the, uh, but not on the maggot. That's a pain. Yeah, I ain't Sorry, done. on the maggot, not on the hook, you know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't done no fishing for a little while. Kind of falls back and by the bait and everything, you know? I don't know you know Anthony. He was on the uh, Wandle a couple of weeks ago, pulled out a nice big trout. Possibly, about two yeah. and a half, three pound. Yeah. And I saw him again last week. And he goes, like, you know, oh, I'm going down there Wednesday, if you want to come down yeah. you, with your fishing gear or magnet, I'll be there. Because I saw him the other day and uh, he was pulling out a lot of small ones. Yeah. I like the old rud, um, roach, little barbel. Yeah. 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 
You only got me a fucking Lines, Linesbury, not Linesbury, um, Carl Shorten. Yeah, fucking amount of fish I saw up there. Some big bastards, I tell you. Know where that place where the core, you, that core carp used to be? Yeah. yeah. We go straight up to the main road. Know that like little creek running along a bit of wasteland? Yeah. Shitload of fish over there the other day. Use a magic word. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I've had bites, but not had much of any place. Yeah, I don't think those guys have had much over there actually. Yeah, up there on the other side of the bridge. About three or four people up there. Let's see if old Beemo's around. Beemo? Yeah. He is. He will, he'll be in the uh, peace garden in a minute. No, I still got his phone number or not. Hello, mate. Hello, Bimo. How are you today? Yeah, not too bad, John. Yeah, not too bad. I'm, I'm over the River Wandong. Guess who I just bumped into? Hello? I'm over the River Wandong. Guess who I just bumped into? What? Yep. You said you're going over to Clapham Com um, Mitchum Common later? Yeah. Yeah, I might nip over and say hello to you. Alright mate. Yeah. So, uh, I might see you over there later. Huh? Alright then, mate. Alright, see you later. Oh, he's very chatty, isn't he, eh? In a hurry to get spears, Probably. Oh, I think I've still got my camera Oh, well, I'll just turn this off. Oh, I don't see that, that herring over there. Can't zoom in. Oh, I'm on the platform over there. Uh, which in common. Just met up with a few guys, so I know. I'm on the way home. i get something to eat. I'm hungry. I've got a few ciders in my bag. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. I would have stayed a bit longer, but I'm getting hungry. And I don't want to be cooking when I get home. That I'll do tomorrow. But yeah, apparently this lake's quite shallow actually, so I'll have to bring my waders down again one day and try around those Ivans with the old magnet. Right, tomorrow, hopefully if the weather's okay, I shall be going to Clapham Common Boat Lake. I'm going to check on the weather forecast again. Tomorrow it says it's raining from all day. Fuck it. Wednesday I could go 
I promised I might meet up with her, one of my friends, Anthony, who you saw on one of my recent videos, we were fishing, on my coin spill spot. Well, let's keep an eye on the weather for tomorrow, see how it goes. Otherwise it might mean staying indoors again. I should be getting uh, my chest strap for my camera today if they've left it uh, from Amazon. Because I said it's going to be delivered. But as I've not been home, they might have like taken it back. I might have to get a re-delivery on it. Nice little feather. I'm not going to keep it though. It's got that kind of brown reddish tint, like a rusty tint. What I want to do is uh, have a walk around a little bit before I go. See if there's any kind of like mounds. Which uh, there are a lot of mounds actually, but. Um, I try to do some research on the common and there used to be some buildings over near the lake like the house and uh, the boat house that used to be around in Victorian times until they demolished it I just don't know what could be hidden on here. I'll be careful of this. There's a lot of mounds, a lot of little deep, well, little holes where the rabbits have bubbled. A lot of these prickly finds where you can get caught in. So there's a gully there. These vines trip on that. I think can be painful. Right, I've just done then. Got caught up on a vine. Right. Make sure I've got my keys. Keys are in there. I could have jumped on a bus and got off at the uh, takeaway shop, but it would have cost me like one fifty for like three stops. I don't want to do that. At least my bag ain't weighing like a hundred tons like it normally does. Yeah, what these are, I think these are just like old tree stumps that got cut down. Some of them might be like mounds, animal mounds, you know, like with rabbits and foxes, probably like buzzard. So I'll just keep on blabbing until I get to the end of the path and I'll turn the video off. big mound up there, you never know what could be hidden up on that mound. Well, I was talking to one of my mates, Beamish, and uh, you know, he's a bit of an old goat. 
Might sound a bit of a good old piss up drink. And he's told me that he knows a little place where him or his mate used to dig up old uh, jars with metal tops on. And he said he'd show me it one day. So that'd be interesting. It's not far from uh, the tram stop. So there's a, a sign over there. Uh, I've not really taken much notice of actually. I think I might have done this on one of my videos. It's a rabbit over there. This plaque comment comment coming commemorates the site of a crater that was formed by a 500 kilogram German high explosive bomb that exploded here at 0125 hours on 20th April 1941. It left a crater 52 feet wide and a depth of 8 feet. There were no casualties but the detonator caused damage to five houses 200 yards away which is just across the road. The plaque has been funded by the Friends of Mitcham Common in partnership with the Mitcham Common Conservators. Mitcham Common. Friends of Mitcham Common. Blah, blah, blah. I'm surprised it's still here actually. It's quite loose. No one could nick that. Just for the scrap. Oh yeah, this is like a crater, I suppose. Could even be shrapnel still. I think this is the actual um, crater here. Yeah, I think this might be the crater. So there we go, a little bit of uh, Mitchum history there, guys. The German bombed Mitchum. And Mitchum was at one time completely obliterated. I think every house in Mitchum in the 1940s were completely destroyed. So I'm going to end now because I'm on the end of the path and I'll catch you guys in the next video, which may be tomorrow, Wednesday.